Hello, I'd like to welcome back, we'll back to Metro 2 Return to Samus! And today we're doing the vinyl view parts. At least we only have one metro to go! Just one! <laughs> yeah, only one to go. Or is it? Our metroidometer detects eight incoming metroids! These Metroids are of a most meticulous breed. Ah! Uh! You must freeze them. And then apply five generous missiles. We have no left. For this is the final straw. That broke the camel's back. Oh, this is the part where the game gets intense. We can't screw attack and we can't do anything with them either. <laughs> only, <laughs> only freeze them and hope for... Only hope for dear life that it works. <sighs> only four more. Oh! Give me a moment. Okay, so I'm mistaken. The, I thought that the Metroid would, like, come back or something if you left preemptively. But no, it is just you get a fair chance to heal. Queen X 150 missiles! Rick Frack just happened. I remember there being a trick, but I forgot how to execute it. Let me give me a moment. Just say, give me a moment. Okay, excuse me for that. Damn it! If you can get in her stomach, you can really hurt her. Ow. 
Come on! Yes! No cheating! Yeah! -ha! That little thing at the bottom is how to get out, by the way. You go back to the part with the ice beam and you can pick it up if you really want to. <sighs> Remember that scene in Super Metroid? Actually, I wonder if you can jump past it or something. Oh no, you can't. I don't remember why. Remember these things on the ground? He loves eating them! He's so adorable! He's our little Metroid friend. He eats things that we don't know what they are, but he eats them really good. Oh, he's such a cute little bugger. Who's a good little Metroid? Who's a good little Metroid? Who's got a cute little face and two little fangs? It's my Metroid buddy. Yeah. Whee! Having adventures with my Metroid buddy. Going around, having a blast. Gonna give me a hyper beam later on, cause hyper beams rock. And you suck. Yeah, no escape sequence. I thought there was an escape sequence. We are in the high atmosphere! What very strange mellow music. The entrance is blocked. I think it's called SR388. So don't quote me on that. <laughs> running, running, running towards the screen, it's old and fashioned. Team Detroit! This game was praised for its apparent replayability. Yes! Gampa Yukoi! Isn't that the guy who made the game, Boy? I think the guy's involved with a lot of Game Boy projects. This is a fun game and all, but you can beat it in three hours and the supposed replayability is minimal. The Queen Boss is ridiculously difficult. Unless you know what to do, and I guess I didn't. That was Metroid 2! My return to emulator games. Thomas is running through space with a shine spark! Breaking through those checkmark blocks! Look at how well defined this suit version is. I wonder if you don't have the various suit. Various suit. Varia or Varia, I don't care. If you don't have this, the second suit, if it shows here. Sand hop. Nine, ten, dos. Nine hundred and twelve. Oh, look, why is why the stylized the end? It's completely out of order with the rest. I got it. <laughs> we did it in two hours and 21 minutes. Slightly longer because of save days and stuff. But hey! We did it in less than three hours. So we got the special bonus ending. And like literally any Game Boy game, it's like, nope. You beat the game. You're done. That was amazing. 
Fun little game. I could see that back in Game Boy days, this would have been an amazing adventure. It doesn't hold up today. The controls are kind of wonky, the graphics are good considering its padded limitations, but most of the controls are wonky, the gameplay enemies are a bit... Mm, but it's really good regardless. It's still a fun little jam. Yay! Jam! Throw it on the radar!